Adventure. Now put my on W four C Y. Where you go? Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. The Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with. This is Sean and. And I'm Julio. And we're from Nero di Marte. Ooh, I like how you pronounce that because I would have bur- butchered it. <laughs> <laughs> so, first, right off the bat, you know, I interviewed another Italian band that download who I absolutely love, and. They're, you probably know who they are. This this little band called Lacuna Coil. Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course. So, have you ever played on... I mean, they played this festival too, but have you ever played in like a same environment with them besides here? Or do you want to go play on a tour with them? We've never played with them. We know them. I've seen them live plenty of times. I don't know. I mean, if we get an opportunity, it would be cool. We're not in the same genre, maybe. Right. But it would still be cool. But you never know, because, like, I see some weird matchups nowadays uh, on tours. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You, you, you can never tell. Right. Actually, our kind of music, it's, like, very, I don't know. There are many influences so it's easy maybe for us to just and they say yeah. they say you're er- experimental is that would you c- agree with that i always like to ask the artists if they agree with what other people say well i mean it's uh, you know everything is cool i mean i think w- experimental is very like, like a wide net it right mean really anything but I, I guess it gives an idea anything is cool i mean we're not gonna say we're not this we're not this because i love that yeah because i hate the genre shit like i was thinking about it on my way here because i don't know i was looking at something and with some weird genre i'm like i always do this in interviews like we come up with a a one genre that's just for that band because that's pretty much how it is nowadays right i mean that's sometimes it's useful of course they are labeled so if you want to just as a listener, you know, avoid some some stuff for just getting straight to the point. It's cool, but until it becomes like something that it's stuck in your mind, so you're very, you know, you choose basically without without listening anything. You you, you choose to just not giving yourself the chance to discover something new, yeah. something you 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 would like. And that's one thing I do like about music today, opposed to when I was a teenager. We were talking about this before the interview, and, you know, metalheads back then were snobs. It was like you could only like this type of metal. It was like in such a small box. And like even the fact of I had long hair, I couldn't go to a punk show. Like the Exploited's going to be playing, Discharge is playing, GBH. I couldn't go to those shows. I'd get my ass kicked and vice versa and it's just stupid you know to me the whole idea of music and any kind of art is experimenting okay and i think it's all experimental i metal to begin with was experimental how did it start tony iomi chopped his fingers off and he figured out a new way to play the guitar and boom heavy metal was born i mean would that is about the ultimate experimental right there I remember I was a kid too, I was playing on the guitar and I would just want to make all these weird noises on it. Like I, I, it wasn't even about, oh, let me just do my scales. It was about, let me see what noises I can make come out of this thing. And I think that's where true art comes from. Oh yeah, of co- I, I totally agree. And about being snobbish in like, uh, in certain communities, I think these certain communities start out like very tribalistic. I right. Think. And that's 
the reason I think why you know you kind of want to protect your identity at the beginning right like you want to be like sure that like this is what we are we don't want anybody coming from the outside and but it's not in the spirit of how the music started right it's just you know it's a deformation just a deformation just to prove you're something particular but you know with time as we've seen it's you know it's it opens up yeah people become more accepting yeah and melt merge into each other yeah and that's what's happened and, and you know you're right because i think about okay metal in the beginning there was such a small group of us that we were the outsiders so why would we make other people outsiders? Like, that made no sense to me. Wouldn't you want to include people because you're not included anywhere else? That's my thought. Well, you treat other people how you are treated. That's, right. That's kind of how it works. Right. Like and my process. opinion is treat people the way you want to be treated. Exactly. That's how I live my life, at least. Yeah. yeah. So what was it like? Besides pure frickin' crap these past couple years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we released an album just before COVID hit. Oh. It was just like one month before. We were supposed to lay a show the week that the, lo the lockdown was like started in, in Italy. Wow. So that was like a huge bummer. And we watched you from the U.S. You guys were like, I was just sitting there, man. It had... It was before it even hit us. Man, it has to be suck to be in Italy, man. It, like, your lockdown was brutal. It was brutal. It was brutal. Because they threatened the, our grandmothers, Italian grandmothers. They said, oh, people are going to die. And, you know, it became super strict. Wow. Like, immediately. Wow. At, I mean, at, not to make light of it, of course. But, right. I mean, it, it's still, I think, it, it, I think we're... Italians were very prone to like be paranoid in their houses and, and and it was very fast. It happened very quickly. Yeah. And it still continues today. It's I believe we're still that. one of the strictest countries. Really? As far as like COVID regulations in the world. Wow. And I didn't even know that because, you know, we don't hear that in American media. People still wear masks in the park in Italy. Wow. It's it's kind of yeah, it's, no, it's a luckily, it's not as before. I mean, numbers are very lower. People just like that, you know. But I, I, I personally fear that in October or November, we could be stuck again in a very similar situation. Man, I sure I mean, hope it's not. It's crazy because we have some super strict kind of like COVID stuff from the government. And uh, for example, both the summers, of 2020, 2021, it seemed like COVID were not a thing at all, you know? Hmm. So there, there was this kind of polarity of extremeness from one wow. side to another, and it was kind of crazy. It made a lot of confusion. And uh, for sure, thanks also, thanks <laughs> to a lot of misinformation, a lot of people as still, you know, a, a lot of fear and confusion course about that, that kind of stuff yeah. that's why maybe thanks to the media also yeah someone puts masks on and it's way more fearful than it should be yeah totally so that being said here you are at Hellfest one of the biggest festivals in the freaking world everybody out there enjoying live music how does that feel I mean it feels we we spent the majority of the day here yesterday and uh, just to get a feel for it right and it was surreal like you're kind of your your brain isn't used to seeing so many people in general but totally. even after these couple of years it just sounds it just feels you get institutionalized surreal. yeah that's what happened to me okay so the first gig i did was at a little amphitheater near my house and it was sublime and dirty heads. Can you imagine them playing at a little amphitheater? <laughs> so I'm sitting backstage, I'm looking out at the crowd and it was packed. And all these people, it's Florida, they're sweating all over each other. I'm like, you stay there, I'm not going out there today. And then I went to a corn show and I went to another show. And then 
I went to one of our festivals and I sat in, in the middle of like 100,000 people. I'm like, I freaking feel alive. You know, it was like, they should have never gotten real live music. I think that's why everybody's so pissed and so frustrated and so messed up. And like, they have nowhere to release, nowhere to release. You can come here and all the problems melt away. Like, like you were saying, hey, I'm out there in that crowd. I'm like, what COVID? Like, I don't even know COVID's around. I'll go back home and I'll hear all kinds of shit, see the news and be, oh, great. Let me go back to another festival. <laughs> I know. It's cathartic to be around all these people, like, all experiencing the same music and the same, you know. So, you know, it really, it's a collective experience. I, I feel it. Like, you know, it, it takes a lot of energy, I'm sure. Like, yeah. To, to be always around like festival goers i haven't been to so many festivals in my life <laughs> so yeah i think it's 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 awesome for us it you know after this couple of years it's just it's just amazing to to be back at something this huge it doesn't seem real i know right this is like this is like the dream of dreams right now and, and i'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you get to enjoy it, and we get to enjoy you. And let's tell everybody how they hit you up on your socials, on, on your website, and most importantly, and I say this in every interview now, how they can buy your merch. Because, oh. man, I say it over and over again, you guys can't survive without merch. That's, tr that's true, absolutely. So. On socials, we, we've got our website, which is www.nerodimarte.com, and you can buy our merch there. We have, like, our own official merchandise there. And from our social media pages. Yeah, our, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, facebook.com slash nerodimarte, instagram.com slash nerodimarte. So, it's very simple. <laughs> cool. Any uh, final words you want to leave our listeners with? Any what, sorry? Final words you want to leave our listeners with. Oh, yeah. Just thank you for listening and expect new music, I think, in the next year or something. <laughs> nice. I love it. Love that you're here at Hellfest, getting away from, you know, the strictness and having a little bit of fun and real life. And thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. On W4CY Radio.